Hey, what's up guys, Mario, back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am going to talk about Ethermon, how to get started. I'm going to go over how are you able to collect NFTs, which are mons, which you're able to battle in 2D and in 3D in the central land. And also, I'm going to cover how you could train your Ethermon to increase the levels, which increases the value if you do sell your NFT on OpenSea. But I think one of the most important things is the play to earn economy within Ethermon where you can actually battle your Ethermon NFTs and earn Emon tokens, which you could exchange for US dollars or other currency and earn weekly income, guys. So I'm going to cover all the details about the Ether Ethermon game, how to get started, and uh, hey, some of the great tips that I can get you started with. So hey, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comment, guys. Again, please support this channel, subscribe down below too, and smash that like button as well. Uh, and also, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And let me share my screen, guys. So let's get started, okay? So what I'm gonna do really quickly, guys, I am gonna share my screen and get you guys get you started. So uh, first of all, I wanna mention that uh, when you uh, log in to uh, Ethermon, of course, ethermon.io, you do need a MetaMask wallet. Once you log in with your MetaMask wallet and you sign up, you should be able to get three Ethermon for free. Uh, now, I've already, uh, I'm going to go to my collection to show you which ones you get. So you do get these three ones, which is Kyrie, Omnon, and also Mental. They are off-chain Ethermon, meaning that you're not able to sell them on OpenSea, but you are able to buy some uh, right now, which are Matic ones, like this, this type of Ethermon which you could sell and exchange on OpenSea. Uh, so there's other ones as well. You could also do that as well. So, of course, off-chain uh, Ethermon are, are Ethermon, they are only available in this website. Off-chain meaning they are they're able to sold to anybody. Uh, now, there, there is a starter store. If you click on the starter store, it should be able to show you some Ethermon, which are on-chain uh, Ethermon, which you should be able to, to buy and exchange uh, and sell on OpenSea. Uh, now, it looks like the website is, is having a little bit of trouble and the store is having a little bit of trouble. Uh, so I'm just going to get out of that. Actually, I'm going to get out of there really quickly. I'm going to go back to it and I'm gonna just going to go straight to OpenSea to kind of show you guys uh, what I mean by that. So let me go to OpenSea really quickly. So uh, OpenSea is actually a central marketplace uh, where you could actually buy and sell NFTs. Ethermons are NFTs. Uh, actually, and these are my NFT, my Ethermon NFTs right here. So I could actually right now, if I wanted to put some of these for sale and see if anybody wants to buy them. I actually have two for sale. I have this Navic Cloudy selling for 0.5 Ethereum. And I do have this Hamster selling for 0.5 Ethereum. But there's other NFTs that you could buy. Um, and I'm just going to go straight and go click on there really quickly. Uh, let me move this really quick over here. And I'm just going to go to, uh, let me see. Let me see recently sold uh, NFTs. So if I were to go here, recently sold NFTs, you guys should be able to see some of the stuff that's been selling for and how much. Uh, you guys can see this has been selling for 0 0.002 or 0 0.01 Ethereum. Uh, which is about a dollar. And the reason why I know that is because I, I usually go to, um, I do have my, uh, there you go. I do have a converter right here. And this is really helpful when you're trying to see how much an Ethermon is going for in terms of US dollars. Uh, so and it's actually about three bucks. So $3.42. So this, some of these have sold for like three bucks, four bucks. Let me see, 0 0.001, 0 0.006. Uh, that's around yeah 20 bucks. Uh, so that's how much some of these have been selling for. So uh, if you wish to own some uh, Matic or, or some uh, NFT in the Ethermon NFT, they are part of the uh, the Ethermon blockchain, uh, which you'd exchange a train. This is a way to get some for photo ones. You could also get some at the starter store. The starter store for at the moment is down. Um, so uh, you're not able to do it as, as we've known. So that's how you get some uh, Ethermon as well. You could buy some on OpenSea as well for a couple of dollars if you wish to. Uh, and once the starter store is open, you could do that as well. So the next thing that I want to cover is the battling. Uh, actually, um, yeah, battling. So there's two forms. There's the 2D battling. Um, and the 2D battling right now, you are actually able to earn Emon tokens. 
So this is the Iman per win. I have already won 75 Iman tokens. And these Iman tokens are actually worth real money, guys, real money, which you could exchange at a later time for real monies. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how much one Iman token is selling for. So I'm going to go to CoinGecko and I'm just going to go to, I'm going to go to Iman token. And yep. And right now Iman token is trading for 20 cents per Iman token. So you could earn that. You could earn it by battling. And I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is. You know, this uh, requirements are your Ethermon has to be either lightning or water and below level 40. Um, you do have to create your team. So once you form your team, to form your team, of course, you have, I'll just click on here. And depending how many NFTs and which NFTs you have. Now, you do have some free ones, remember, guys. Uh, but you could also get some on OpenSea if you don't have some. And you could also rent some as well. Uh, but definitely that's something uh, I would like to cover some other time. So of course, uh, to battle him is actually quite simple. You just click on select opponent. I always like to go with the lowest, uh, eat, lowest uh, power to uh, have an edge over the other Itaman. Uh, looks like this one might be a good, good candidate. So I do select battle, choose, and I say battle. Um, now, I could see the battle myself, wait and see the whole battle myself, or if I don't, I want to kind of just skip and know who wins, I just go click on end. Now, see, I did see, I did win. So I got Iman per win. So per each win, I do get 0 0.5 Iman. Uh, and again, all I have to do is uh, click that again. Again, go for the lowest level uh, and choose which Iman, uh, which team I would like to battle. Of course, the goal is to win, guys. Uh, every time you do battle, um, you do use some energy. And I'm going to show you guys right now something that I did not mention, but I'm going to show you guys right, right now what I mean by that. So let me go and see who am I going to battle. I think I may go with this one. Yes. So I'm going to select opponent. I'm going to click on battle. So right now, you guys can see every time you do, you do get 20 energy every single day. Uh, each battle, it takes about two energies. So, um, and you can actually go with more and I'm going to, you know, just to kind of be sure I'm going to go with two. And now, so that means I'm going to use four energies for this battle. So I'm going to use uh, attach now and I'm going to see who wins. So again, I want to kind of go into the end and click who won. So I did win. So one thing I want to mention guys, again, there is a uh, one Iman token per battle win or 0 0.5 Iman token for battle win. Um, and you can continue to battle until all your energy is wasted. Uh, one thing I do want to mention uh, is that once after you finish battling, you do earn some, some points. Uh, there's daily activity. Of course, all you do is claim it. You may get additional energy, which you could go back and battle again uh, to earn some more Iman tokens. So the way I know how much Iman tokens I have, um, and you could go to actually click on your collections and then checking your balance. And right now I have 147 Imans that I've, I, I've actually, uh, I, I did buy 100 Iman, but I did earn 47. Um, and right now in this uh, battle, battle tournament, I've won 78 wins. So 78 wins, just, just, just in this week, guys, 78 wins times 0.5, because uh, you get 0 0.5 Iman tokens per battle win. That's equivalent to 39 Iman tokens. So I got 39 Iman tokens. Right now they're selling at around 20 cents. Multiply that by 20. So yeah, that's around almost $8, guys, in a week just by battling some Iman tokens, some, some, some of my NFTs, which is actually not that hard at all. So I just made $8 literally. Now each tournament does last five days. Uh, just keep in mind, guys. Um, and this one's about to end like in five hours. So definitely want to use up those energies and see how much more Iman tokens I could win. Now, uh, again, keep in mind, guys, these are Iman tokens that are going to be available in your MetaMask wallet. Now, because they're using the uh, Matic network, um, you do have to add the Matic network into your, into your wallet. Uh, I have already added it, and you will see right here, 147.5 Iman token, because again, you can do 0.5 Iman tokens per battle. So uh, this is real. And again, I could go back and exchange this, transfer this to the Ethereum uh, blockchain, and then sell them for US dollars if I wish to. But I'm, I'm collecting them, saving them, uh, and I'm hoping that over time, the price of Iman token will go up, so my Iman tokens are worth more. Uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea, 
Uh, Eman token has, has gone up 345% in the last three months. So, hey, we'll see what happens in the next six months or a year uh, regarding the Eman token. Hopefully it does go up in value. So uh, that's pretty much what I want to talk about the Eman token in terms of earning income. The next thing I want to cover, which is I think is really, really cool. Actually, let me uh, put this over here, is the three battle in the wild. You are actually able to put your Ethermon in the central land in the 3D world. Um, all you have to do is, of course, log into the central land using the same MetaMask wallet, the same account. Uh, let me see. Okay, I have to log in back into the into the uh, see the reason why this happened is because I was in the Matic uh, network. I got to go back to the Ethereum network. So let me close this again. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go. There you go. So this should work. So don't forget, guys, uh, there's definitely different networks or blockchains. There is the Matic blockchain. There's Ethereum blockchain. The reason why Ethermine uses the Matic blockchain uh, is because the gas fees are pretty much zero. So zero gas fees, uh, especially when you're buying and selling Ethermine or trading Ethermine or whatever the case may be. It's, if you are an Ethereum blockchain, it does use up a lot of uh, gas fees and which are quite expensive. You know, it could cost several dollars. It could cost you like $20, $30 just to make a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. So uh, Ethermon decided to use the Polygon network or the Matic blockchain and they're, and they're able to transfer uh, Ethermon, NFTs and stuff like that for free using the Matic uh, blockchain, which is pretty awesome. So right now, guys, I'm just waiting for the central line to load up and I'm going to show you guys my Ethermon, the Matic Ethermon, the Polygon uh, Matic Ethermon, the ones that I'm able to transfer to OpenSea, how am I actually able to use those Ethermon and battle them in the central land in 3D and earn some stuff, earn some silver tickets, earn some marks, which later will be able to exchange for Emon tokens as well as able to upgrade your Ethermon. NFTs and also uh, buy accessories, you know, at a later time. So some of those features are not yet available, but they are mentioned in the website and actually just kind of, I'm going to wait for this to load up, but I, if you were to go back, if you go to the blog here, all the information regarding what, um, how to earn Iman tokens and all that kind of stuff is all here. You know, this blog pretty much covers everything you need to know about what's happening in the Ethermont community. Uh, so here is the, the Ethereum analysis new battle ladder. This is the one that I'm talking about, about the uh, Emon per win battle ladder. And this is, this is where it says you earn 0 0.5. So as you guys can see, let me see. Where does it say you earn the Emon rain? Okay. So, okay. Over last month, critical rise. This is... Piece from the ladder. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me see. So letter five. So and these, you do kind of have to go, kind of look look for the the um pretty much the blog post. But there is a blog. There it is. This this one right here. This is the one. The ladder five begins when they first started. And again, I recommend you guys to read some of these blog posts. Uh, but right here, it pretty much says how much you're going to be earning. So, so Iman will be rewarded for every ladder victory. Uh, September un updated September 9th. Iman calculated. So Iman winning calculation is player win count times 0 0.5 times player points times two. So higher highest uh, player points, uh, you get you get more Iman tokens. So uh, you know if you're a beginner, most likely you're only going to earn 0 0.5 Iman token per win. Uh, all right, guys. Now I'm going to go back to the central land. The central land is pretty much a 3D world in the metaverse where you're able to do amazing things. You're able to meet other people. Um, let me see. Okay. There you go. So here I am in the metaverse. And as you guys can see, actually, come on. There you go. So you guys are able to see some grass slime and this Ethermon looks kind of weird. Not sure why is it looking like that, but um, here, I'm gonna show you guys my Ethermon. So right here, I have a collection of Ethermon. If it 
Go to my right side, I have a collection of Itaman. I'm waiting for this to kind of load, it's a little bit slow. So I'm gonna click on this and waiting for this to kind of show up. Now, because I am recording guys um, and I am playing the Ethermon, um, sometimes it does slow down the whole system. If you can see this thing, it's taking a while to load up. And this tends to happen when you have multiple things open at the same time. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, but as you guys can see, these are some Ethermont you see right here that which I could actually battle. Um, and actually, you know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea to get some of these to battle. I'm gonna start with this level two slime. And it looks like it hasn't fully loaded. And really what's going on is that the Ethermont hasn't, hasn't loaded, the central line hasn't fully loaded. So because it hasn't fully loaded, I'm not able to battle. And what I'm gonna do, I am gonna log out and I'm gonna log back in to see if that works. So let me log out and let me log back in and to see if that works. Now, if it doesn't work, we'll end that video at that. If it works, I'm gonna show you guys how you able to battle in the, in the central line in 3D using your NFTs, your Ethermon mods, your character NFTs in 3D and actually build them in 3D um, and also uh, earn some, uh, some stuff, earn some silver tickets and marks, which are you'll be later on be able to exchange for uh, either for feature, for accessories or uh, even upgrade your Ethermon, upgrade your mods or even uh, Iman tokens in the future. So right now, those things are not available as of, as of now, but that is something the team, the Ethermon team is working on to do. So hold on. Let's see this thing. Let's wait for this to kind of load. Okay. That does look a little bit better. Okay. So it looks like this time it did load a little bit better. Okay. Yep. See, there it is. That's my, that's my Snobby Cloudy right there. So that is my Ethermon Snobby Cloudy. And uh, what I want to do, actually, I want to show you guys how it looks to battle in 3D. So you guys can kind of see the difference between 3D and, and 2D. So I'm going to go for the lowest level Ethermon. And actually, one thing I want to mention, too, is you could actually change the Ethermon. Right now I have Snobby Cloudy, but you could actually change it to another one. I have other like 22 more that are on chain Ethermon. Now it is a little bit slow. So when I, every time I click it, it doesn't want to do anything. So, but it, every time if you do click here, there should be a list of your Ethermon that you have. They're on chain, which you can go back and switch. So let me see if I'm able to battle one of these Ethermon. So at the moment it's not allowing me. And again, it's because again, I am recording and I am logged into the central line and to the ethermon.io. So it looks like it might be just too much stuff going on at the same time. And it's definitely slowing down the system. So I uh, just want to quickly mention that. So, but here in 3D land, you can battle. Um, you can have your ethermon dig, which let me see if it's digging. Uh, you can have them dig. Um, you can you can uh, you can battle these other slime and collect uh, silver tickets. Now silver tickets are right here. I've collected 128, and marks are right here. I collected 865, and you do it by digging or battling some of these ethermon. And again, guys, these silver tickets and uh, marks later on will be you'll be able to exchange it for either accessories, upgrade your ethermon, uh, or even iman token in the future, guys. So, um, and I think I'm going to end it to that. Uh, looks like this thing is not not working appropriately because of um i just have too much stuff going on uh, so pretty much guys that ends the video i hope this is a great way to kind of get started on all ethermon it is a lot to take in right away but the more you practice the more you you kind of click around and play around with it it will start to make sense guys i think the most important thing guys about ethermon is it it is a, a play to it's part of the play to earn economy in the metaverse where you're able to um, play play a game and earn some Iman token, which you could exchange for actual income. So keep that in mind as well. These NFTs are also assets that are valuable. You could actually change them and sell them on, on OpenSea uh, to other people who are collecting NFTs. 
So always remember that, guys. And if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in YouTube comments. And also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. You guys will see from me soon. Bye-bye.